Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. Uh, today we have a question from Tim in South Carolina, and it has to do with a very high load bearing application. He says, I have a high load application on a hydraulic lift, and I may see some cantilevered loading. Which of your bearing products would be the best to use? You know, cantilevered loads are always a tricky, uh, a, a tricky problem for plastic plane bearings, even composite bearings like our UltraComp and our CJ. Um, because when you have a cantilevered load, obviously you're now introducing some very high point loading on the bearing. So there's a number of different things that we need to take into consideration. First of all, we have to pay very close attention to the length to diameter ratio because you can actually make a cantilevered load worse if you have a bearing that's either too long or too short. So it's very important that you stay within the normal design criteria, which is one half to two times the uh, length diameter ratio. Um, but beyond that, you know, there are a lot of other issues that we have to take into consideration when you have that kind of a condition, especially in a high load bearing. On a hydraulic lift, um, there are just way too many unknowns, so we have to be extra careful about building in a safety factor. And the two best bearing materials that TriStar offers are our UltraComp product, which is our um, wound uh, composite material and also our filament wound composite material which is a CJ and the FCJ product. Um, these are materials that are capable of withstanding very very high loads uh, in compression and when you're talking about uh, anything from outrigger bearings on cranes to uh, pivot points on um, double arm cranes or boom cranes these are the kinds of conditions where you will experience cantilevered loading. So the uh, UltraComp and the CJ materials with um, uh, compressive strengths exceeding 40, 50,000 PSI are certainly capable of taking very high loads, but we still have to be aware of what's happening in terms of the bearing size and uh, how that load might translate um, and ultimately what that's going to do for wear uh, wear life of the material. So UltraComp, the UC200 uh, is our graphite material. That's a very common material for especially for construction equipment and farm equipment, uh, material handling equipment like um, forklift components, steering gear, um, uh, pivot points on uh, scaffolds, things like that. Uh, these are really places where you can use the UltraComp material and the CJ, very similar physical attributes. Uh, this nice thing about the CJ is it's a finished bearing. Uh, there's no secondary machining on it. You basically buy it uh, off the shelf. Uh, it's a direct replacement for bronze bushings. So it's a real simple way to solve uh, problems where you're having bronze that has to have lubrication. Both the UltraComp and the CJ are self-lubricating materials. So um, you've got the high load, which gives you great strength. Uh, good wearability, uh, very good outdoors because neither one of them absorb moisture, um, low friction, and then the self-lubricating factor. So if you have some applications where, um, whether it's a hydraulic lift or some other type of device where you're seeing extreme loading conditions, uh, consider the UltraComp and the CJ materials as your uh, best alternatives when it comes to uh, plastic bearings. Uh, we have a lot of information on, on our website and uh, both videos and also uh, in print uh, regarding the UltraComp and the CJ products. So please uh, uh, take a look at those at your leisure and uh, also visit the blog. Uh, there's a number of, of entries in there about high load bearings and specifically UltraComp and CJs. Another thing you might look at too is our Shooting Star. Uh, if you go back through the history of Shooting Star, you'll find many, many applications where we've been able to apply UltraComp and CJs very successfully. So thanks for joining us again for another um, Ask the Expert, and we'll see you again.